A Pisces, it's your girl D with Ace House Energy here to bring you your Saturn retrograde reading. I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support you show the channel. I've been here for one year and I appreciate all that Piscean energy you have brought to the channel over the last year. You guys are the bomb. Thank you so much. If you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. I have five different readings I offer. And if you are a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus and Taurus, you get 50% off of readings 2, 3, and 4. Uh, all that information is in the box below. This is a general read. It's not going to resonate with every Piscean. All right. So take what resonates, leave the rest. And if you're somebody who is a cross watcher, just reverse the roles if you need to, because this is a reading specifically for Pisces, um, but it may involve other people in it. Okay. This is um, a Saturn retrograde read. This is just a, a reading that's going to help you to prepare for the possible energies that could be coming towards you based on the Saturn retrograde. You do want to pay attention to this because this could be something that could save you a lot of headache, trauma, stress, and aggravation. Now, um, Saturn is currently in Aquarius. All right. Now, Saturn deals with time. It's father time. It deals with the time. Saturn rules the house of Capricorn. So Saturn has to do with time, your reputation, how people see you, um, what you're known as, who you're known as, your popularity, um, in reference to your career or your personal life, your professional endeavors. OK, um, but it also deals with the routines that you have to get to, you know, like, like your goals, your life goals. It also deals with your structure. It deals with law. It deals with the government, too. All right. So on a macro scale. Well, before we get to that, let's talk about Aquarius because Saturn is in the house of Aquarius. The house of Aquarius deals with like minded individuals who get together for a common goal. It could be, um, you know, people who go to the same place of employment for the goal of that uh, company. It could be people who get together for um, an organization or a society. You know, you have like your your masons or you have your, you know, your um, your fraternities, your sororities. You know, you have your chess club, you have your basketball teams, like places where people get together in groups for a common cause. You also have your humanitarian efforts where people put together, they get together to do things for people who are disadvantaged or to help people who can't help themselves in some way, shape, or form. And then that house also deals with people who get together for fun, like your friends, okay? So um, Saturn rule, Saturn is in that house right now. So we see on a macro level how Saturn, which is, like I said, rules, structure, it also rules the government, um, is, is um, taking effect in the house of Aquarius on a global scale where, you know, because of this COVID-19 thing, the government is telling us that we can't all congregate in large groups um, you know, for socializing or, or things like that. We're just getting together to do anything. It's like you can do the basics by going to the store. You have to be six feet apart. You have to wear a mask, a face mask, all this other stuff. So that's the government coming in and regulating what we do when we all get together as a group. Well, with Saturn and retrograde, Saturn in, goes into retrograde when things change, when time changes. It's father time. So times are changing now. So because of this COVID thing, Times are changing. The way that things worked in the past are no longer going to work that way moving forward. So we're going to start seeing changes in the structure of government in reference to this COVID-19 thing and how people are going to be able to be, um, how, how people are going to be allowed to by law to congregate and things like that. So um, we starting to see this now where, you know, some of the states are starting to open back up slowly but surely. I know within New York State, certain counties are able to open up. You have to have a certain, you know, death toll and a couple of other things as far as, um, you know, people who are getting tested positive before, you know, you consider, um, you know, a county or a state will consider going back to business. OK, so on a, that's on a micro, on a macro level, on a global level, but on a micro level, based on, you know, you and your personal life, you could be in a situation where, you know, like I said, um, Saturn is father time. You did things when you were like in the teenage years that you're not going to do in your adult years. Like, for example, if you were in college and you used to party and drink and smoke a lot, right? A lot of you, you know, you may have realized that, okay, five years now or two, three years ago, I used to do that. I was in college. I was young. I did that. I've outgrown that now. See, that's what, father, that's what father time is about, learning when to let go of things, routines, patterns, schedules that, you know, are not going to benefit you moving forward, okay? So what Saturn is going to do for you is it's in your 12th house. So if this is the house of karma, 
Um, this is the house where, you know, limitations are placed on your life, including your, you know, through your self undoing, your own self behavior. So you got to be careful here. All right. So Saturn can come back and put something in place for you in retrograde, come back and put something in place that could uh, result in your own self undoing. It could be something as simple as you, you know, your reputation being uh, ruined or tainted, you losing your career, you losing your life. Okay, you got to be careful with Saturn in reverse. All right, so when we're in this house, this 12th house, this is the house of secret enemies. So you could have people coming back who you think were friends um, and they really weren't. Okay, or maybe you jumped into friendship so quickly you didn't take some time to assess if someone was really a friend or not to you. Well, Saturn is going to bring that situation or maybe that person back into your life again to test you to see, oh, are you going to just jump right in? Are you going to, you know, for example, maybe you had let somebody live with you, right? And this person lived with you and they ate up all your food, didn't buy anything, didn't give you any money or anything. And then they ghosted when they were, when the next best thing came around, they ghosted you, right? So now this person may feel like, oh, because you loved them and they know that they loved you, which is they, you know, this is why you let them stay with you in the first place. You know, with this COVID-19 thing, they having problems again, nine times out of 10, because if they're a shitty person, they're probably having bad luck right now, too, financially and everything. So they're probably going to be looking back like, hmm, who can I call? Oh, such and such. They really loved me. I'm sure they do. Let me call them and see what's up. So they could call you front and like, oh, everything is all good. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm sorry I left that way, you know, and then they're trying to get their foot in the door. And the next thing you know, you're telling them, oh, yeah, you can come stay with me. See, and that's when Saturn retrograde kicks in and says, oh, you didn't learn. You let this person in before they did you dirty. OK, let me show you what's going to happen now. So this person's going to do you dirty again. But now it's going to affect you in a sense where it's going to affect your status, your reputation, your career or how people see you. OK, so it's going to be put on front street where everybody can see what this person did to you. OK, so you got to be careful. All right. So let's see what Saturn retrograde has in store for you. So this is like I said, this is just serving as a forewarning to maybe give you some um, opportunity to assess what you've done in the past that you no longer do as far as how you deal with people. And, um, you know, just remember that some this situation could be coming. Now, Saturn's going to be in retrograde all summer till September. So this situation could reoccur or happen for you at any time between now and September. All right. Doesn't It's not guaranteed, but you just keep your eye out. So the overall energy for this is the emperor in reverse. Mm -hmm. Now, the emperor energy is Taurus energy. This emperor in reverse, this energy represents someone who could be very... Um, this is somebody who has financial issues. They could have a business, all right, and they could be um, a corrupt business owner, somebody who does just no, doesn't know how to manage their money. This could be somebody who um, is just very controlling and manipulative when they're in relationships. They cheat on their partners. This is somebody who has an attitude where I can have my cake and eat it too, whether in business or whether with um, a love uh, interest. If this is a business person, this is someone who maybe squanders their money doesn't plan appropriately, or they could just be having issues because of COVID-19. They had to shut their business down so they could be desperate for help and for finances. This could also represent someone who's a father, a grandfather, um, a boss, a, a high-ranking executive, okay? Um, but we'll see what this is all about. Now, as far as the occupations within the um, 12th house, this could be like jails, prisons, um, nursing homes, um, places where people go to sec be secluded from the rest of society. Um, this could also represent a um, alcohol and drug rehabilitation centers because the escapism and drug abuse and drug addiction um, is under the 12th house. So we have the nine of cups energy here, which is uh, spicy and energy. We have that clarified with the nine of wands in reverse, okay? Um, that is Sagittarius energy. We have the major arcana of the world card in reverse. Major arcana, this is Saturn energy, Saturn in reverse, Saturn retrograde, clarified by the two of swords in reverse, Libra energy. We have the king of pentacles in reverse, okay? This is Taurus energy, clarified by... The Tower card in reverse, Mars energy. All right, so this is avoiding a disaster. So we got the Nine of Cups here in reverse. Clear, I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups upright clarified with the Nine of Wands in reverse. So this is somebody who, yep, see, this is a grimy individual. 
This is somebody coming back hoping that you still open off of them. Hoping that you still a sucker for them. And this is literally how they're looking at you. All right. Um, they're hoping that they can get back in. They're hoping that the cycle between you and them has not closed. All right. So they're going to take action. You know, um, they're thinking about it like, hmm, I wonder if this person is really mad at me. I wonder how mad they are. I'm wondering if they would let me back in. Like this person is desperate here. Okay. With the king of pentacles in reverse, this is someone who's jealous. This is someone who's about money. They're about money. Okay. And they're trying to avoid their business foreclosing for a lot of you, for a lot of them. You know, this could be a business owner and they're trying to, they need money. They're going to do whatever they can so they can keep their doors open for their business. They're trying to avoid a shutdown in some way, shape or form. Um, so we have the, okay, so we have the emperor in reverse. We have that clear, well, we have the three of so, uh, three of wands in reverse. We have the uh, knight of pentacles. Yep, money going really slow. We have the um, six of swords in reverse, them feeling stuck. And then we have the seven of wands, them fighting off these bill collectors. <clears throat> yeah, so this person, yeah, with the three of wands in reverse, they don't know what to do. All right, because money is slow with the knight of pentacles. They feel stuck with the six of swords and with the seven of wands here. They are um, they're in their head trying to figure out what to do. They don't know what to do. They're scrambling. They're fighting off bill collectors and, and debt. So we got the High Priestess in reverse. This is Piscean energy. Okay. We have the actually High Priestess in reverse is Moon energy. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the Six of Wands. <clears throat> we have the um, Page of Wands in reverse. And then we have the King of Swords in reverse. Here we go. The Con Artist right here. All right. So with the um, High Priestess in reverse, this is somebody who sees the truth. Okay. This is somebody who sees that this person is lying to them. Okay. Somebody who knows that. They know that this person is a liar. Or this could be somebody who knows that they're going in to lie to someone. Okay. But they think that this person loves them. This person loves me with the Six of, Pent of, six of Wands. This person loves me. Okay. But they're not interested in you at all with the Page of Wands in reverse. They're not even attracted to you. This is somebody who's just coming in to scam you and scheme you with, this, with the um, King of Swords in reverse. This is a con artist. This is someone who's corrupt. So this is either an old business partner or this is... Um, <clears throat> this is somebody who's going to come in as a friend or a lover. You got to be careful. You got to be very careful. Now this could be the same person coming back who, who jilted you before. Or this could be somebody new. The universe is just testing you. Saturn is just testing you to see if you're going to do the same thing. If you're going to be easy, easily accessible. As easily accessible as you were in the last situation where you got burned. Let's keep in mind your reputation is at stake here. Your career could be at stake. How people see you could be at stake here. Okay. The next... Um, <clears throat> For the next spread, the overall energy here is the, what is this? This is a major arcana. This is the hangman. This is more Piscean energy. So this is um, energy of somebody who just sits back, okay? Sits back and waits and watches. They sit back and wait and watch because they're trying to look at things from every possible perspective before they take action, okay? Um, this also represents someone who has been... They realize what's going on. They've been enlightened for whatever reason. Um, they've received some psychic downloads or had a dream about something. Okay, because Neptunian energy, which is the ruler of this card, deals with illusions. It deals with dreams, psychic abilities, psychic energies. So someone could have gotten a download from their higher self about something in reference to, okay, this is how I should proceed. Or somebody could be waiting for that download. Okay, okay. All right, so there will be an extended to this video. If this resonates, please click the like button and share. Check me out on Facebook at 8th House Energy. I'm also on, on the gram too, all right? 8th, the letter, I'm sorry, the number 8th underscore house, H-O-U-S-E underscore energy. That's on the gram. So we have the sun card as the current situation. This is Leo energy. 
okay? The challenge here is the Six of Cups in reverse, where your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors want you to keep in mind is Emperor energy, Major Arcana here, Taurus energy. Or no, it's not. It's Aries energy. Where your head is at is the Queen of Wands in reverse. And then the outcome here is the Eight of Wands. Okay, this is Virgo energy. So the Queen of Wands is Aries energy. Okay, I didn't say her. So with the Sun card here, this is success, material success. This is also illuminating something. So both of these cards, these major arcanas, talk about illumination. Seeing something that was not normally seen before. Okay? Getting... um. Getting clarity on something. The sun shines light on something. So when something is, the light is shown on it, you're able to see it. Okay? And now that you're able to see it, this is the overall energy here. You're able to see what's going on, so you're able to make a decision. We have the challenge, though, is the Six of Cups reverse. The challenge is letting go of the past. It's like you see what, what happened here, but now you have to um, realize that you had unrealistic expectations with this person. Now, this sun card could represent the fact that you might feel, oh, this person is coming back. Yes, I'm so happy. I can't wait to be with this person. But the thing is, is you got to let that go. You got unrealistic expectations. You're being naive. This is what the Six of Cups in Reverse talks about. Your spirit guides, guardian angels, and ancestors want you to keep in mind this emperor energy or embody this emperor energy. This is all about taking control of the situation. Okay, realize that it's unrealistic. Take control of the situation. Don't allow this person with this um, queen of wands in reverse to um, use you just for sex. Don't put yourself in a position where you're looking so desperate that you want this person. Because this person is looking at you like, yeah, this person wants me. So it could have been a strong sexual attraction and they knew that you had they had you open. So they could just be coming for you for the sex. Um, and with the Eight of Pentacles energy here, this could be them, you know, knowing that you're going to focus on them or concentrate on them. Or they could just be concentrating and focusing on you in reference to what they can get from you. They're working you with this Eight of Pentacles energy. That's basically what that is. They're going to work you for whatever they can get from you. So you got to be really careful here. All right. Um, let's see what other information we have before we go to the extended. <clears throat> okay, somebody doesn't want me to tell what's really going on here. This is why my throat's acting really weird. <clears throat> so we got the hangman. Somebody's been enlightened about something. All right, and here we go. The truth is being revealed with the moon card. The moon card in reverse means there's something hidden. You're not sure what's there. You're afraid. This could be, you know, being afraid, just not being able to see things clearly, knowing something's there, but you just can't put your finger on it. But when this is in reverse, you get clarity. So here's another card. All three of these cards shed light on the situation. Light is shed. So if you're not seeing it, it's just you. Okay? You're just not accepting the reality of things. Then we got the chariot here. Okay? This represents, you know, accepting the fact that you see what's going on. It caused you a lot of heartache and heartbreak. But you're able to move forward with the chariot energy. This is major arcana energy. All right, then we have the three of wands in reverse and we have this three of swords in reverse. So that's you getting over this heartbreak here. So you realized that this person just wanted to move in with you for some of you. They just needed a place to stay. They had no place else to go with this three of wands in reverse. And, um, you know, they're going to come back apologizing to you, acting like, you know, you know I'm really sorry. But that's this is all they, this is all they're doing. They're going to front. We'll get a couple more cards and then we'll go to the extended. So we have the um, Six of Swords reverse. This is someone feeling stuck. We have the Ace of Cups, okay? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Major Arcana, the Lovers in reverse. Making bad decisions in love. Divorce, separation. We got the Nine of uh, Pentacles in reverse. So this is somebody who's not happy single. Or they, they, they're um, separated from someone. They left someone and they don't have any money. Yeah, this is just somebody who, through the COVID situation here, they're struggling financially and they're looking at you as a sucker. And they're going to try to come back and get you. This is somebody who's going to pretend to be your friend. They're going to pretend that, you know, they really love you. They're going to lay it on thick. Okay? They're going to lay it on thick, but they're stuck. That's the thing. They don't know what else to do. Like I said, for some of you, this is somebody who's very controlling and manipulative and they know how to, you know, they know how to maneuver with you. OK, so what they're going to do is they're going to come back in and say, hey, long time no see. Let's reconnect. All right. We're going to have a lot of this energy going on. OK, with these retrogrades, 
the all these retrogrades are going to be pulling people back in who had to teach you a lesson in the past that you didn't learn. A lot of these people who are coming back are people who screwed you over in some way, shape, or form. All right? And the universe is bringing them back to see if you learned your lesson. This is what these retrogrades are going to be about. All right? We got the nine of wands. So you being very guarded, very defensive because you know what happened the last time you were with this person. All right? And so you realize with the lovers in reverse, you made a very bad choice with them. Very bad choice. And with the nine of pentacles in reverse, you know that this person, um, you know, you're happier without them. Okay, if you bring this person back in your life, you are not going to be happy. They're going to probably be in all in your pockets. They're going to take from you like they did before. All right, we'll do one more set and then we'll go to the extended. So we have the king, the king of swords reverse. This is the con man himself. Aquarius energy. We have the four of cups reversed. We have the five of, of, one, of five of pentacles in reverse. We have the death card in reverse and we have the devil energy. Major Arcana's here. This is a con artist. This is a con man. You need to be careful. This person probably got some STDs. Okay? They're coming back, though. You know why I say that with the STDs? Because this is somebody who has a lot of people, who deal with a lot of people with the four of cups in reverse. This is someone who's selfish. They, you know, they treat everybody the same. All their lovers the same. They do the same thing with them. We have this devil energy here. Very toxic energy with the five of pentacles in reverse. The five of pentacles um, in reverse is this person coming back, okay? They may have had some previous health problems in the past. You, they may have not taken care of it, okay? With this devil energy, this involves a lot of sex, okay? We got the queen of wands in reverse here. This person is very sexual, Okay? So that's why I say with this five of wands, I mean with this five of um five of pentacles here, you need to be careful. This person could possibly, you know, get you in a situation where you have something you don't want. We got the death card in reverse here. It's like you're over this person. But they're coming back with this five of pentacles energy here. And they're coming back with the same shit that they had before, the same toxic devil energy. Okay, so you need to be careful. This person does not mean you any good. This person is here to take from you. They're a con artist. They're a manipulator. They're corrupt. I don't know any other way to put it to you. Like, all these cards are telling me this person is no no good. No good. But we're going to take a look in the extended just to make sure. We're going to check a couple other things. We're going to clarify all these cards to get some specific understanding. And then we'll look at these again and just confirm if there's any difference. Um, and then we're going to get you some advice so that make sure that you're prepared when this person shows back up again so that you're not played. OK. All right, Pisces, if this resonated with you, please click the like button and share. If you want to join me, the extended the link is in the box below. Um, take a look at it. It's only five bucks a month. It'll save you some headaches if this resonates. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.